Okay, we've got an engine leak. It's been there even since I put uh, gasket maker on this valve cover. And it might even be coming from, looks like it's coming right from there. It might even be coming from this sump gasket here. So I have decided that I'm going to split, split this motor, drain the oil, split the motor, and replace the gaskets, valve cover, sump gasket, uh, probably the head gasket. We'll just get a little gasket set and set it on here because I do think the motor is not worn out. So now I am just uh, draining the gas and removing some parts and pieces. We'll stick them in this can here and uh, put the pieces out to paint that we want to paint. So I, I, I don't know how much you have to see. I'm going to take these three covers off, bolts here, take this cover off. I do still want to make a, a screen for that. And uh, so we're just going to I want to take this part apart and get it ready for paint too, eh? So that's it. I'll come back in a bit. You'll see. All right, I was just out there digging around in my Briggs and Stratton stuff, and I found four big flat mufflers like this, and two of them, or one of them, is exactly the same. Now I don't have a new cover that'll go on there like that, right? But, that's a start, and then we'll just keep this one in my box, because that'll still work on a beater, right? And then the other problem was the uh, screen for the dust. Well, I got, look at that, that's going to fit on there just like it had eyes. See that? Sorry. And then, and I'm just working on the balls here to get them a little bit more movable. So I'm kind of solving a few problems as I take this apart. Yes, bad lighting. But you're getting the idea, right? I got the top for that. It doesn't really go like that. It goes on top. It goes like, sorry. I know I'll get, somebody will notice. So that goes like that. Perfect. So I'm solving a few problems as I go. I'm going to stick a piece of, uh, of tape, I think, right over this whole uh, label and then just trim it down the side here and then paint the rest black, of course. So that'll work. I don't think I'll have to paint that because it's going to get hot. Cool. Okay, I just went through a couple of these different clutches and I picked the best parts from each one. These balls, these uh, ball bearings don't have any rust on them at all. And uh, I'm going to use this top. I know I'm right in the sunlight. I'm working at rectifying that. And uh, I'll just wipe this. And this goes on top there like that. And I've oiled the pad and the smallest amount of oil on those ball bearings, just a film, right? Now, when we get this painted, I want to paint this black, this screen. That's just going to fit on there like that so beautifully with the four nuts. In fact, I'm almost tempted to do that now anyway because. Uh, I could probably just, no, I'll, I'll paint it. <laughs> I could probably put a coat of, quick coat of paint on it right now and go for lunch. Yes, I have to have lunch. And a brush. Now, rust on the magnets isn't the end of the world, guys. A lot of guys get excited about that. It's probably just the magnets holding the iron filings onto the... Uh, Okay. Uh. Lovely. 
Now this is going to go back on top of here. I got to put the screws on here, but this is going to go back. All right? And right back. Where is that gap? Yes, right back here. I'm going to cover this up. This used to be where the brake is. And I am just going to get the neatest little piece of steel and I'm going to just rivet that on there. It's going to look... I'm not going to do any body work. I mean, this is an old an old piece of equipment. But I don't want the brake. This is where the blade brake on the, goes on the flywheel. So I'm just going to uh, cover that up. Good. So that's excellent. So this has to be painted. Fixed. Okay, so you guys are with me on that. That was fun. All right, just for your information, here's my two small boxes of rigs and strap and stuff. Air filters, rewinds, clutches. You just saw those. Lots of mufflers, uh, throttle, linkages. It's the stuff that'll get you out of a pinch. And here's a, a different setup of uh, what do you call it the uh, classic tanks and different types of tanks hey eh? there's there's old classics new classics what I call them and then two bags of coils and uh, I have more stuff in the shed right oil caps handles miscellaneous and then Tecumseh Honda. My tiller. I rescored 29 years ago. Stuff like that. I was totally amazed I had two of these. Because I tried to take a newer one and make it flat, but it didn't work. But I'll keep that. It might be good for patching. It's not heavy. Well, it's strange, eh? The simplest things drive you nuts. Now I am trying to get this blade adapter off so I can get the sump off. Uh, now, so I'm going to try a wheel puller with a long thin bolt that goes into there that does not thread in but I can push against. So I'll be right back. Alright, hi guys. Something that you might not realize is that on some of these three-way pullers there's an extra leg. You might wonder what it's for. Well, it's actually so that you can uh, pull 180 degrees instead of three legs. You understand what I'm saying there? So let's just try that on this guy. This one is on there, man. It is on there tight. So... I'm going to try a couple of things. I've got a threaded bolt in here, so I have to be a little bit more careful. It's already starting to get a little half crooked, so... It's not quite working out. i got to go back off a bit. I need a flatter topped bolt. That bolt's round. I'm almost tempted to grind a grind a hollowness into that. Make sure I've got no gas around. Let's try that. Having a flatter profile on that bolt, I hope to get a better grip on it. 
Now I've done all of the grease and the Okay, let's try that. I don't have a lot of confidence in this, but <laughs> but first you got to get started. Okay. Longer wrench. I'm gonna get a five. A th a, what do you call it? A, a five eighths, eight, eighteen inch wrench. Okay. I have to keep my eye right on there. Can you guys see that? Because that's where it's gonna roll off, eh? Did you hear that? Music, something went. I think we got her. Oh. Yep, it's coming. I've never, I haven't had one this tight in a long time. Holy moly. Some guys like to use a loose bolt in here instead of one that's threaded, but longer than the one you're going to use eventually. But I like I like to have oh, whoops I like to have those thread. <laughs> Too busy yapping, not busy working. <sighs> Ouch. Okay, when do I start cussing? But we're there. We are there, my friends. I just have to get something else to stick under there. There we are. Okay. Whew. That was a nice feeling when that let go. paint this engine. I'm crazy. Isn't that a beautiful thing? Now we can just use this drill and get this bolt out of here. Beauty. So now on this on this triple jaw you take this one uh, let's see which one was it this one back off Stick it on here. Voila. So that's a pretty versatile tool, eh? So if you're buying one of these, see if you can get one with the uh, 180. Might just save you a few dollars and a headache at times too. <laughs> 